In the next few steps, what we're going to do is look at how to use the color module in order to add a new color selector to our theme settings page. In our previous steps, what we did was created a custom text input. Let's go ahead and review the way that that looks. I'm going to go ahead and click the appearance link and the settings link underneath our build a theme override examples. And the setting that we added is right here. We can set the background color for our text inputs. And what we want to do now is move it to a more usable color selector. And what I'm going to do is click on the Bartik theme settings tab here. And you see that it has a color scheme selector here that allows you to select multiple colors for different aspects of the page using a pretty easy to use color selector. In addition, when you change colors on this page, you get to see the changes occur in real time in the preview here. So you see down here, we have a preview going on of the color changes that we're making. Now when we save this, it also generates a CSS file that includes all of our custom colors. So while these colors are saved in the theme settings inside of the variable table, they're also applied to a CSS file and stored in a separate location. Let's go ahead and save these settings. And by saving this form, we'll trigger the output of that custom CSS file that includes all of our styles and jump to our files directory. We're going to find it in our sites, default, files directory, under the color folder. If you expand it, you should see something like bar tick, a dash, and then a unique hash. If we expand this, we'll see two items here, colors.css and logo.png. And if we open up colors.css, I'm going to go ahead and double click it, you'll see that this includes just styles that integrate our custom color selection. What's happening here is that there's a settings file inside of the theme directory that sets particular parameters for the color module to use. And one of them is the CSS files that will be pulled into the color module when the theme settings are saved and have all of its default colors replaced with custom colors. And so it will look for locations in the CSS file, for example, color here, border color here, where a default color is being used, and it will replace that with the custom color that's chosen through the color selector, and then output that CSS file with all of the changes into the files directory. So there's a base file here, which we can find if we go to our theme directory. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna jump to our sites directory, and let's scroll to the themes folder and expand it. And then in our Bartik theme, we're going to look inside of the CSS folder. And here we see a file called colors.css. And that's the file that's being re-rendered with the new colors into the files directory. 